So what's currently on your radar, the key issues you're watching or advice you're giving people? Yeah, I, I mean, so I would say one of the biggest issues we're going to be facing in the manufacturing and automation industry is the workforce. And the fact is we have currently like 700,000 open jobs in manufacturing right now. And five to seven years, we're going to have like two, over 2 million open jobs in manufacturing. So we're going to, we're going to have this massive um, unfulfilled sector in manufacturing that's going to lead to hundreds of billions of dollars of lost productivity that we could be having here in North America. And so if we can go out there and take this misconception that a lot of these millennials and Gen Zs have towards manufacturing, that it's just this dark, dirty, dangerous, dull industry, but it's this industry that has a lot of technology, we can make it so manufacturers can actually make parts, they can make components because they have a workforce that can do that. And uh, so, so that's one underlining issue, one thing I'm seeing and talking about it in the industry is workforce. The other one is the adaption of digitalization in manufacturing. So how do we make it where manufacturing is just not about the products, but it's also about the information and the, um, the, the productivity that we can get without there. It's not just how many parts can we produce on a line, it's how productive are we in actually making those components. And I think automation is one of those things as well that can say, I could take a small to medium sized business company that is maybe 10, 50, 100 employees and make them a lot more competitive because a robot can do that boring repetitive task that a human might get bored and have a hard time keeping retention on the floor because they don't want to do that.